okay when we will come uh, like uh, just do this one first and then we will do the transverse fine okay Mom, just wait. I'm on the supplement part. Hmm. That? No, ma'am. I'm doing the supplement part with it. Okay, okay. Do it. Do it.
Ma'am Don. Okay, so let's just quickly discuss the answer. Yes. Ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Hmm. Ma'am, for the first one, um, 70 degrees. Hmm. Second one, 27 degrees. Hmm. Third one, 33 degrees. Hmm. Um, supplement part, uh, A, 75 degrees. Correct. 93 degrees. Hmm. 26 degrees. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, let's just move to the next one. Mm, before doing this, I'll give you a few questions and you will find out which of them is a pair of complementary and which one of them is a pair of other one. Okay? Okay. Hmm, here you go. I'm done. Tell me, uh, just a minute, Priyanka, you are also done with this question. You joined late in Abu Bakr. Um, can I tell the answer? Yeah, just tell me. Uh, yes, Priyanka. Oh. Ma'am, can I see the answer? Hmm. Tell me the correct one. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, first one supplementary, second one complementary, hmm. third one supplementary, fourth one supplementary, fifth one complementary, sixth one complementary. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, most of the students have the issues in transversal line and the angles. So, I'm just maintaining, I'm just revisiting it here. Have a look, everybody, those who are up. Okay, just a minute. Let me just show you if I can. Yeah. Uh, Okay, let's see if I have. Uh, okay, yeah. This is what I was looking for. Okay, this one. Okay, now you people can see this. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this this is a line that is going on, and this is a line which is passing. So this is called transversal line. So the angles made by transversal are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all this. Right? Now there are different terms like interior angles, exterior angles, pair of corresponding angles, pair of alternate interior angles, pair of alternate exterior angles, pair of interior angle on the same side. So let's just understand one by one. Interior means they are inside. Okay? So 3, 4, 5, 6, they all are inside. So that's why they are interior angles. Yes, exterior means outside. So like 1, 7 and 8. Yes? 
Yes, ma'am. They are outside. Now coming to the next one, corresponding angle. Corresponding means one would be outside and one would be inside, but on the same side. So, for example, one is outside and five is inside. So, they make a pair. Okay. Two is outside, six is inside. So, they also make a pair. Okay. Seven is outside, three is inside. They make a pair. Eight is outside, four is inside. So, they also make a pair. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, coming to the next one, pair of alternate interior angle means they would be inside, but one would be on left and one would be on right. So, 3 is on left and 6 is on right. 4 is on right and 5 is on left. So, these are the pairs. Now, alternate exterior angle means they would be outside, but one will be left, one will be right. So, 1 is outside and 8 is also out. Left, right. Right, left. Done? Yes, ma'am. And then pair on the same side. So, like 3 and 5, they are on the same side. 4 and 6, they are also on the same side. Here, pair of interior angle on the same side. Okay, so now you will quickly draw this in the notebook and write this down. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Sorry. Uh, it's echoing. So you can just tell me the answer like on chat box. Okay. Mandon. Okay. Now coming to the next one. See, over here I haven't mentioned that these these two lines like A and B they are parallel. Right? So I have never not mentioned that this is going to be equal to this nothing. I just told you that they are the pair that's it. But for example if in case the transversal of parallel lines like parallel lines are there and then a transversal passes then this is a scenario you should remember. Angle 3 would be equal to angle 7, angle 4. Like the pa uh, pair of corresponding angles are equal. And all the pair of alternate interior angle are also equal. Plus the angle on the same side of the transverse they make supplementary. Clear? And this is a scenario when they are parallel. Not in, like for example, if this is a scenario, they are not parallel, you cannot apply this. Okay? So, you will just write transversal of line parallel. So, if two lines will never meet each other, are called parallel line. If they are transversal of two lines, this is the scenario. You will make it one, two, three, four like this. And then like this. Okay? So, remember, there is a difference between parallel lines and non-parallel lines. 
Okay, non parallel lines, they are not equal. Okay. Fine. Okay, ma'am. Um, do we have to write this in the notebook? Uh, yes. Okay. Earlier one also you noted, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm done. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. I'm done.
Okay, everybody has finished? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, sometimes a question comes that uh, these two lines are given, L and M. Prove that, that they are parallel. Okay? In this scenario, we were taught that these two are parallel. That means this will be the scenario. Okay? In case if they ask you that, the, tell me whether L and M are parallel. So, there are these situations that you need to remember. First, if the transversal passes through two lines, so that the pair of corresponding angle are equal. If the corresponding angle are equal, like this and this, you will say, ma'am, they are parallel. If the transversal passes through lines, so that the alternate interior angle are equal, like this angle is equal to this angle. And then also you can say, yes, ma'am, they are parallel. And the last one, which is widely accepted is, if transversal passes through two lines, so that the pair of interior angle on the same side of a transversal are supplementary. Right? For example, you are adding this one and this one and they are supplementary like 180 degree then you will say yes ma'am L and M are parallel. Okay. Clear? One question okay. definitely comes from here so quickly write it down then we will move to the questions. Okay? Okay ma'am. Ma'am you can use any one of this method? Any one of these methods? Uh, yes, but write any of them because not every time all of the methods are applicable yeah. only one of them will be applicable. Okay? Okay ma'am. So you never know which one will be applicable. So write all the three. Okay, ma'am.
London. Okay. Done. Ma'am, can you explain? Ma'am, can you explain these three methods methods again? Okay. Okay. See. Uh, whenever they will ask you to find the whether they are parallel or not, na, they will give you the questions like this. For example, this is given that this is sixty degree, and over here also it is mentioned that this is also sixty degree. So now tell me, L and M are parallel. So you will say yes, ma'am. The corresponding angles are equal. So that means they are parallel. You will just write the reason. Okay, or maybe okay. they can give you this question where like this is like forty degree and this is also forty degree, right? So at the time they will ask you prove that L and M are parallel. So you will say yes, ma'am. The alternate interior angle are equal, right? Forty and forty. So that means it is a parallel. For example, they have given you this one, uh, one forty and forty. Okay, so you will add it angle on the same side, one forty degree. Plus forty degree, it is going to give you one eighty degree. So you will say yes, ma'am. The sum of angle on the same side is one eighty degree. So that means L and M are parallel. Fine. Okay, ma'am. Let's go. Okay, clear to everyone and anyone has any doubt? Abu Bakar, Minisha, Priyanka, any doubt in these questions? No, ma'am. No. Okay. So now let us come to this. Hmm. This one. Do question number one first. Okay. Question number I'm done.
Okay, everybody has finished. Should we discuss? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So first one, tell me. Uh, ma'am, the first one. Um, if angle, uh, if um, uh, if A is parallel to B, then um, ma'am, um. So uh, angle, so uh, angle, uh, angle one and angle five will be equal as um their corresponding angles. Hmm. Then. Um, and uh, and the sum should be one eighty degrees. Uh, and angle, um. Angle four and angle six; these are alternate interior angles. Hmm. And uh, third one, um, third one if uh, four, uh, and third one if um, if the uh, if the sum of the uh, if the sum of the interior angles uh on the same side of the transversal is one hundred eighty degrees, then A is parallel to B. Okay. So in the third one, they have just asked you, yes, the reason you have given. So that means angle on the same side, if they are supplementary, then it is parallel. Okay. Hmm. So now this one, we have to write the pairs. Okay. All the pairs. Okay, ma'am. I'm done. Okay, let's just wait for others. Okay, then we'll discuss.
Did everybody finish? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Priyanka, Manisha, Abubakar, finish? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Manisha and Priyanka? Manisha, Priyanka? Yes, ma'am. Okay, both of you finish? Okay, so let's just quickly discuss the answer. Okay. Hmm. Second one. First, the pair of corresponding angle. Minisha, you tell me. The pairs of corresponding Nine, angle. Four and eight. Huh? Four and eight. We have to tell all the pairs. Four and eight and hmm. one and five. Hmm. And? Six and two and seven and three. Correct. Next, pair of alternate interior angle. Three and five, two mm -hmm. and eight. Okay. Uh, correct, Pranka. Uh, third mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. wait, wait. Third one, uh, Gosh will tell me. Pair of interior angle on the same side. Angle three, angle two, angle eight, angle five. Mm -hmm. Do we write it like this? What is the pair? Ma'am, angle three and eight. Are the pair. Oh, okay. Two and five are the pair, right? They're on the same side, no? Yes, ma'am. Left and they are on right. Yes, correct, friend. Okay, the last one, Abu Bakr, are you there? Vertically opposite angle? Hmm? What are vertically opposite angle? Tell me. Ma'am, can I tell? Hmm? Ma'am, seven, one, and six, four. Ah, oh, this one, Abu Bakr, I told you earlier as well. You did mistake in this only. Uh, yes, ma'am. Ma huh? Ma'am, angle, ma uh, angle 6 and angle 8, angle hmm. 7, angle 5, hmm. angle 2 and angle 4, angle 3 and angle 1. Okay, good. Abu Bakr, got it? Vertically means this, these two would be the pair. And these two would be the pair, like this, this, this. Okay, here, 1 and 3 would be the pair, 4 and 2 would be the pair. Fine? Abu Bakr, is this clear now? Yes, ma'am. Will you repeat it now? No, I guess. Okay, you have to be very careful while doing this. Okay, now in this scenario, you people will do this quickly. Okay, be very careful. Use all the property, whichever property you can apply here. Okay, and for example, sometimes like uh, I'm just giving you a hint. For example, this is the same scenario. Uh, this angle is given like for example, 50 degree. You have to find this one. Okay, it's not possible with the help of this to find this one. So what you can do, you can make for example here A and then 50 degree plus A equals to 180 degree, the reason would be linear pair. From here, you will find A, right? And whatever the value of A, that will be the value of this X. A would be equals to X, reason corresponding angle. So you can add the angles if you want. Like for example, if the given scenario is not okay, you can add it, okay? And you can use the scenario of linear pair.
अब अब अगर जस्ट चेक इट वंस अगेन ए इक्वेटेड आई थिंक सबट्रैक्शन मिस्टेक चेक इट वंस अगेन Yes, now it's correct, Abubakar. Good.
done, students? Students. Done or not? Am I audible? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. What yes. happened? 